Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Instructor Allison. Thank you for opening this video and viewing it. If you are new, please just look at that red button. Hit the subscribe button, please. That will help me grow my channel. So let's solve this problem quickly. We have to write down the first four times of the expansion. So now having negative sign here, we need to use the binomial theorem to solve this. And this is a theorem. It states that we have 1 plus x all to the power of n. The result of this will be 1 being the first term plus nx plus, that's the second term, n into n minus 1, x to the power of 2, all over 2 factorial, that's the third term plus, uh, we have the fourth term to be n into n minus 1 into n minus 2, x to the power of 3 all over 3 factorial so this is the first term second term third term fourth term they say you should write down the first four terms of the expansion okay now we need to do direct substitution we have n taking the position of minus 3 so we just have our n equal to minus 3 the position of 1 and x still remains the same so let's just plug plug this minus 3 into the system so we have that 1 plus x all to the power of minus 3 will be equal to 1. Anyway, you see n here, just replace it with minus 3. So we have 1 plus minus 3 times x uh, plus minus 3 into minus 3 minus 1 x squared all over 2 factorial means 2 times 1. All right, plus we have minus 3 into minus 3 minus 1 into minus 3 minus 2 x to the power of 3 all over 3 times 2 times 1 that's 3 factorial so what's the result to this plus times minus is minus so we have 1 minus 3x oh here we have plus minus 3 minus 1 we give minus 4 so minus 4 times minus 3 will be minus 12 we will be plus 12 because minus minus will be plus so we have plus 12x squared all over 2. Okay, here we have minus 3 minus 2, that will be minus 5. And minus 3 minus 1, that will be minus 4. Minus 5 minus 4 will give plus 20 if you multiply them. And then plus 20 times minus 3 will give minus 60x to the power of 3 all over 2 times 3 is 6. So, therefore, 1 plus x to the power of minus 3 will give us, this is the first term, minus 3x second term, plus 12 divided by 2, that will be 6x squared, that will be third term, minus 60 divided by 6, that is 10, 10x to the power of 3, that's the fourth term. So, this is the solution to this. I hope you found this useful and helpful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and share it right now. Thank you.